Ready? All right. Here with junior midfielder Patrick Bang. Patrick, can you uh, walk us through the uh, the season for you and, and and actually you know last year as well? You know, coming from uh, you know as a division division one transfer and, and tell us about why you came to Roanoke. Um, came to Roanoke because it's a place that I've always known my whole life. Um, you know, I played Roanoke Star when I was growing up and. I came here as an environment I knew and then uh, came on official visit, actually stayed with Johnny Hughes and kind of just got acclimated with the guys and then I came in and, um, you know, just kind of talked to Coach A about what the program's about, you know, what he expects and what he wants and, uh, you know, just really liked the whole environment and uh, it seemed like, you know, I, from doing my uh, my homework on the program, it just seemed like a good fit for me and so I came in and uh, last year was a good year, basically, um, it was, uh, it was, I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot different. It is a lot different, but uh, it's a good environment as in, you know, a lot of people think that it's, there's really not a big of difference between D1 and D3. You know, it's both competitive, everybody's here to win. So I would say, you know, it's pretty similar, just different group of guys, different schools. So. Well, you've had a, quite a successful uh, career here already, you know, been named all region, all ODAC, and then also uh, both years you guys have been the regular season ODAC champions, and then, and then this year, just recently, yesterday, you, you, uh, you guys were crowned the ODAC tournament champions and onto the NCAA tournament where you guys are going to be playing at 1 o'clock here at Kerr Stadium uh, for NCAA tournament game. Tell me what that means for, for you and, you know, uh, just the traveling through uh, from high school into college and then transferring here and then, and then right now. Yeah, I think it's huge. I mean, I think it's huge for all of us. You know, I think none of us can say we've ever played a game this big. And I think, you know, I'm just really happy for everybody in the whole group. You know, we've all worked hard, you know, last year, this year. and. You know, I think we just missed it by skin our teeth last year, even though we were knocked out early. I still think we were on the better teams. And, you know, this year I think we're finally just, you know, getting recognition for our hard work. And, you know, I can be happy for the seniors. And, you know, it's such a good way to go out. And I think it's such a good start. And I think, you know, we have possibilities to do big things. Well, uh, tell us about a little bit about the, uh, you know, the the fan support that you guys have received this year. And uh, and just that game, you know, and I can, I can attest to just sitting in the stands for a little bit, you know, every time something happens, you wouldn't hear just a few claps. You actually heard a little bit of a roar of a crowd, and, and, it, and it echoes off the dorms too. So I know you guys hear that um, playing on the turf as well. So just tell me a little bit about the, yeah, the it's, support. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it really is. Uh, last year, you know, we still had a good crowd, but then this year it's just built so much. Um, you know, I think people are just kind of seeing, you know, what we're doing and what we're all about. And I think, you know, people just love the game. Like, and just, I mean, just really couldn't be any better. I mean, yesterday's crowd was, I told some of the guys after the game yesterday, you know, at any, you know, level of soccer, Division One, Division Three, it's just one of the biggest crowds I've played in front of. And not only that, but it's like a high energy crowd, you know, so it's, but it's great. It really is. Thank you.